It's the most wonderful time of the year. And it's also that time again when I run down my favourite games of 2015. So let's get down to it, shall we? At number 5, it's Batman Arkham Knight. Although Batman does frankly look a bit of a tool, Rocksteady games do know how to make a great game, and this one has notes of horror in there as well. Killing the Joker off in Arkham City was probably the best thing they did in the franchise, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, play this game and you'll see why. The Batmobile sections were a bit of a miss for me, but it's still a very polished game that made me want to get 100%. Another game I felt compelled to complete fully is Rise of the Tomb Raider. This one sees Lara looking for a hidden source in Syria and Siberia, and is a great mix of combat, adventure and peril. It's also one of the best looking games to come out this year, so if you've got an Xbox, it's definitely worth an early play. For those with a PS4 or PC, I'm afraid you'll have to wait until next year. Fallout 4 takes the number 3 spot and it's so massive I still barely scratched the surface. In this one you're cryogenically frozen and wake up 200 years after the war and embark on a search for your missing son. Expect to encounter raiders, super mutants and ghouls along with many other surprises in this post-apocalyptic adventure. Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain is my second favourite game of the year and although it's batshit crazy, it's an almost perfect stealth shooter. It may get a little repetitive towards the end and doesn't always make sense, but the mix of open world strategy, stunning visuals and intrigue right until the end should keep you playing for hours and hours. And taking the number one spot is probably everyone's game of the year, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. CD Projekt Red have made a masterpiece here with a world so massive you really feel like you're finding your own adventure. Geralt of Rivia is more charming than ever and the lore within the world is incredibly intriguing. I put over 100 hours into this one and I'm still trying to finish off the DLC, which is why, for me, this has to be the game of 2015. So what's your game of the year? Do you agree with my choices? Or is there a gem I haven't played which should be included in this list? Let me know in the comments section what your games of 2015 are, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon.